Hi guys, Killer J is back, and today, yes, this is the review that I this is the review that I'm doing, and uh, this is a game I got for my birthday, and today's game is Wolfenstein 2: The New Colossus. Basically, what I think about this game, it's very awesome, and this is a perfect game to review for the channel. And basically, I reviewed the Wolfenstein: The New Order and Your Blood before, but I'm going to review this one because I have to review this one. I owe it to I owe it to myself and I owe it to the people that are watching my content to review this game. So, anyway, so developers, Machine Games, and publisher Bethesda Softworks. Good stuff. Release PC, PS4, Xbox One, and next year is Nintendo Switch. But the version of you're seeing the gameplay of is the Xbox One version. So. Just to let you know in the disclaimer, you're seeing gameplay of the Xbox One version, so don't don't expect that you're seeing gameplay of the PS4. It's the Xbox for it's the Xbox One version. All right, so all right, mode is single player and uh, genre is first person shooter and action adventure. All right, so basically how the, how I'm gonna summarize this game and talk about the plot. Basically, BJ Blaswitz had a rough childhood. Basically, his father was abusive. Basically, and basically his father was a dick. However, you want to say it, which he's a fucking dick. Okay, so basically, he BJ gets back at his father at the end, at, at around the game there when he goes back to back to his old home. Where he goes back to where he used to live. He goes back and finds his mother. Tries to find his mother, and the mother was uh, taken by the Nazis, basically. And he goes and finds his father, and uh, let's say he uh, gets his retribution on his father, takes his arm and chops it right off, which is pretty good. Just a friggin. Uh, it's it's a it's good that he does that though because you know you're, you're it's like someone like that there that's abusive towards a child and just does stuff that they're not supposed to do we, they it had they have it coming I thought, in the way they do have it coming so anyway Wolfenstein it's good it's a bit it's a bittersweet better it's bittersweet so all right all right uh, anyway uh what I have to say is also you know the girl from the Wolfenstein the New Order. The one with the friggin' one where she gets her jaw like friggin' like like her jaw was hanging in the game. She's in this game. She gets her jaw like back together. She has a big ass scar on her face, and uh, yeah, she basically uh, severs your head off with a with a sword. Pretty crazy stuff. Holy moly, it's pretty fucking crazy. She takes the head there, shlink, and basically you get a new body. You get three new abilities with the body. You basically go. Uh, a shoulder tap and get like machines like armor machines. You can go there, you run into a person, and smash them. You also got like stilts. You can like like things you can stand on and shoot uh, people. And also you can go on the the third bill. You can go underneath cover, lay out literally on the ground and uh, sneak, uh, go behind stuff and basically chop the enemy's limbs off. Basically, that's how that's how cool that is. But the thing is, what I like about this game is. It's friggin' awesome. It's just crazy fun there. Very crazy fun. The gameplay itself is pretty good. It complements the gameplay style. The graphics are pretty good on this. I like the graphics. I like the gameplay. The gameplay is pretty smooth. It moves fluently. You can, you know, you can go up to a person and chop their arms off and sneak attack them. You can also, like you can see here in the gameplay, you can do real weapons, which is pretty good. You do real two weapons and shoot people, and holy moly, it's just friggin' crazy. And that's what I like. Alright, so, after the events of the first game, the Christ House Circle retrieves the critically injured William B.J. Blaswitz from Death's Ed's fortress before destroying with with a uh, nuclear cannon, you know, B.J. falls, uh, B.J. falls in a five-month-long coma, has some organs removed to facilitate his survival as Blaswitz fades in and out during his coma, aborts Eva's hammer, a Nazi U-boat commandeered by the Christ House Circle, it is revealed that Anya Blaswitz's love interest is pregnant with twins. Wow. Now this is what I'm talking about. You see this here, you're fighting robots. That's what I like. I, I like that you're fighting robots. It's pretty cool too. And uh, like I just explained, the girl from the first game, that was, that's, your, that's your love interest, is apparently your lover, Anya. She has kids in this game, and it's pretty cool too. And just a scene at the end of the game, she basically takes two guns. She she's she's nude, or how do you say nude, and she's just shooting the Nazis out there. It's like, oh my god, it's pretty crazy. There, pretty crazy game. But it's like it's it's a good game. Reasons why it just goes there. It has like you know stuff you can do and stuff like that. 
It has a wide variety of stuff you can talk about. A wide variety of things. So this game is very memorable for the, the moments it has. It's very memorable. And it's very memorable in those aspects. And besides for me, I have to, I had to review this because besides it was a game from a birthday and it was a good treat to play this. And besides, I got another game from a birthday. It's uh, The Evil Within 2. So I expect to see a review that pretty soon. But anyway, I want to review this one first. But I had, I had this one planned to review it first because... It's Wolfenstein. Oh, burping. People don't like burping, apparently. But anyway, excuse me for that, anyway. I've just been drinking some good old soda, pop, whatever, however you say it. But I'm drinking that, so so I don't go too strep throat. But anyway, uh, this game here is friggin' awesome sauce. It's awesome sauce to the max. That's why I like it, though. just... I explained why I liked it, like the gameplay, the story's pretty cool, the characters, some of the characters from the we'll assign the new order in this game that replies the rules. Fergus is in this game. Either you can pick Fergus or the Wyatt timeline for some reason. You can pick the Fergus or Wyatt timeline and it changes the story, so you can do that basically again. Maybe if you have let's say if you have the other version, like the Xbox One version, maybe it continues from that or I'm not too sure, but anyway, it's still nice to choose the option of Fergus or Wyatt. It's pretty cool. It's like that. I like that. Besides, I like that gun there, like the shotgun thing there, just freaking spins around, shoots there, and just destroys stuff. That gun is awesome. That gun is freaking badass. Just go around shooting enemies, bang, bang, bang. Oh my god. That's pretty crazy. I actually like it. Alright. But, uh, what else do I like about this game? Graphics, gameplay. Well, I like these enemies here. These robots are pretty cool. You just go up through them and do stuff. It's pretty cool. But, I like that. It's nice. It's nice there. You can do a lot of stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Those enemies there, those robot guys are pretty cool. They're pretty... And you also got the dogs in this game. The dogs are in this game, which is pretty good. The iconic Wolfenstein enemies are the freaking dogs, so... Dogs are in there, so there you go. Dog food? Yeah, the dogs are in there, so... Yeah. Alright, so... What else can I say about this game that hasn't been said? There's also other stuff you can do, and... Also, other characters you run into along the game, along the game, and this is basically you know this is I think this is like a dream this is like a dream sen dream sequence where you're in the dr in the Nazi courtroom and you're basically shooting the Nazis. But this is a pretty cool dream sequence. You just go there, do that, shoot the judge, shoot the Nazis. Pretty good. Besides, I like how you can take the mini gun and just shoot and freaking destroy them, destroy them damn Nazis. That is pretty cool. I like that. That is just sick. That was just awesome there. It's very good. So anyway, I like that because I like it because it's 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 fun to play. And besides, there's like a little I think there's a uh, yeah there's a, like a little DLC now that came out with it, a little DLC story which is pretty interesting. I haven't played the DLC story. I'm not sure what that's about. I I seen a little bit of gameplay of it. I might play it at some point and do like a a, a little mini review on that. I'm not too sure. I might do a little mini review on the Wolfenstein DLC later on in the future. But, this is the main game that I wanted to review, because the main game itself was just freaking packed good with action, packed shoot, first person shooter gameplay, was just balls to the wall, insane action. I think this review here on Kill Jiggy is one of my, my favorite reviews, I really, I really got into this game, and I'm really getting into this review, so. Alright, uh, my rating of this game, actually, uh, should I, uh, let me see. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. There you go. 10 out of 10 for me. There you go. Another game of the year that's freaking... Another game that just freaking made me uh, like gaming in general. It's a very good game. It's, this game is a must-buy. Alright. Look at that enemy there. Just killed that. That's a big-ass... Oh, yeah. That's the machine. The robot dog. That's pretty sick, too. Killed that enemy, too. So That's awesome. The enemy's deader than deader than shit. So, anyway. Subscribe to Killer J Gaming. And uh, see you guys later for the next one. And, by the way... Subscribe for more content, and we'll have some more reviews coming in the near future. Bye-bye.